Kirk. Once on Polly, I'll be bringing you guys this cast solo tonight. I will have War Room, so you won't hear me all the time. But uh, on the video for me tonight is going to be uh, Bobcat. And I think uh, I think we're not going to be live here. So uh, we're going to have to restart. we got to reload the game. So uh, Bobcat, uh, take us out. We'll be right back. Sorry for the uh, the premature excitement there. But we'll be right back as uh, we had some PC mess-ups for uh, Zephyr. TV, sorry for the premature start there. As, uh, I believe Keith had some problems there from Team Zephyr. Uh, we are live here on Dual Sight. If you guys are just joining us, this is the 10K AVA tournament here live on eRev TV, brought to you by EG. And I uh, just want to, you know, let everybody know we've really enjoyed the day today as well as the previous day of casting. Really polished pub game. You guys are watching the finals here, playing for five thousand dollars. Second place takes home twenty five hundred, I believe. Uh, so, uh, also, you know, I haven't played this game competitively that much. So if I miss call some stuff, stick with me. But uh, if you guys like the sound of my voice, then uh, just stay tuned. So, uh, first round is going to start out here. Five v four. Excuse me. There, as I uh, choke on my own. Uh, my own words. 5v4, Shaman Roy is down uh, here. So we'll take a look at Team Zephyr, who is going to be on the uh, defensive side here on dual site. Uh, we're going to have Keith, Curious G playing the one site, Mike D, Prank, Nabor uh, playing towards two slash mid with Nabor. He's playing on top of the stairs there towards the one uh, site between two there. Uh, Bomb is going to be all the way in spawn here. It's going to be wicked moving with the C4 here uh, towards the uh, mid site. Uh, not the mid-side, sorry, towards uh, the broken bridge here. And we're going to have Chili uh, headed into two. Very, very slow play here. We're at a minute 40. Everybody just waiting for picks. There's a lot of money on the line here, but hopefully it doesn't play out this way the whole time, as uh, that'll be pretty boring to cast. Uh, we'll see Chili and Skadoodle here. Skadoodle, again, an excellent scope in this game. Uh, he's going to be peeking here. It looks like from shower room, room towards the two bomb site. He's looking towards Mike D. Mike D playing behind those boxes and towards the forklift area right now. Bobcat, if we want to take a look at him. A lot of nades here coming into the two site. That's two there. Uh, Mike D again playing back behind that forklift there. Uh, got about a minute 13 left on the clock here. As uh, looks like they're going to have to make their push here. They're headed towards two. It's going to be three of them headed towards two. The bomb is going to follow closely behind their fourth player there. Uh, Skadoodle leading the push here with the scope, so to speak, as he's going to get uh, sideways naded there. I'm not sure if that was one of his teammates or not. That looked like a failed nade. As uh, Smoke is going to go out to the two site right now. Mike D in there alone. Uh, Nabor will probably rotate. Yes, he has. Nabor has rotated towards the side entrance right now. And uh, Keith as well is on the move. Chili is moving back through flank. This could be a great move for him and his team here if he can get behind them. Uh, but it does look like uh, there is a remaining Zephyr player there. That will be... Uh, actually, no, there is not. They have moved on. Uh, Prank still playing back by Ramp Room. So they do have two pr pretty much surrounded here. They're going to have to retake it, though, uh, if Mike D dies here. So uh, let's take a look. Find the bomb for you guys. Bomb is going to be uh, moving back to the one site. They went from two to one very quickly here. Faked him out. Gnome with the first kill of the round there. Nabar with the para kills there. Prank right back at him. Uh, it's going to move things to a 1v3 right now, and I've got to tell you, they fooled me. Uh, Defcon did a fantastic job there of faking from uh, two bomb site to one bomb site there. They had the entire Zephyr team over-rotated, uh, but great job there by uh, the Zephyr team getting back into position. I'll tell you what, we got War Room. We're going to do it early. Uh, let's go to Zephyr's War Room right now, Bob. Can yeah. Want a bathroom? If you hear somebody jump in bridge, let me know. Don't get naded. Don't watch your steadies, Keith. You may want to play inside that building. Radio. Until actually, that's a good idea. That's still a steady. You should play radio and crouch peek that door. They threw a nade into the top metal. Ugh, oh, that almost killed me. You have low health? Yeah, really low. You want to switch? Third. Yeah. Play this all with me. I saw him there. Pretty sure he was at the at yourself when you walked across. What are you watching, Justin? Just the mid still. There's no movement. Yeah. Here come the nades. I nated one. Nading over here. One here. Sandbag roof. Bridge is dead.
Yo, you gotta get in sight, Mikey, or something. Don't have a They're probably yeah. in Planning, planning. Yeah, don't run in, dude. Scope there. He doesn't. He's headshot or something. He have a helmet on, so. He's in there, he's hit! He's in there. Watch in the back door. He's in there, to right. Oh, nice try. Uh, well, a near 3v1 clutch there from Keith. And, uh, you know, again, we, we saw it early on. The double scope on this map is actually benefiting uh, DEFCON pretty well here. Shaman Roy and Skadoodle getting a pair of kills there uh, as uh, Prank and Michael D have, have peaked corners. Uh, you know, whether it, it's ping or whatnot, they uh, they got out peaked there. Uh, we'll take a look here at Nabor as he's going to be moving um, actually very rapidly here towards uh, the basement. He's going to get a nice shot on the Chile. No kill there as Prank does get the kill. Uh, Mike D is playing again at that uh, back spawn. Uh, towards ramp right there is a bomb is going to be all the way into two site right now. Nabor is and Prank going to get another pair of kills there. It's going to be Gnome and Wiki uh, going to be its Curious G, Mike D, Prank, and Keith here. So all kinds of nades going out in the two site. Uh, looks like Keith is on a little bit of a flank right now, Bobcat. Let's find him as he's watching ladder. You can drop down on him anytime he wants to here as it's going to be uh, Wicked and uh, Gnome Emung for you guys. That uh, I, I know him as Gnome. You guys know him as Emung. So uh, if, if I make that name change there, you guys know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. As uh, Keith is again uh, has not dropped down the ladder. Looks like they may rotate back to one here. About two minutes left on the clock here. So uh, these longer rounds are much longer than you know your Counter Strike or COD games. Um, <clears throat> actually, I, I actually enjoy watching them. It actually makes for a much more interesting uh, offensive side of the map. I will say that you see less rushing and a lot more uh, thought out play here. Uh, so Mike D prank Curious G all uh, playing back towards bomb site. Keith is uh, again still on flank area right now. He's moving back through their spawn. I do not believe they have heard him at all. And if he moves. Uh, at this continued space, he can actually get behind them relatively quick here, as Gnome is going to get a nice set nade there on Curious G. Uh, that's going to push it to a 2v3, much more manageable for them now, as uh, they're going to move in on this one bomb site, and here they come, Gnome going up top. Uh, bomb is down APC, Prank with the scope shot there. That's going to hurt him, because Gnome now has to cross back to get that bomb, as uh, he's playing up top right now. He's going to see somebody there on the other side of the stairs. That will be Michael D, I believe, as uh, Prank is going to move into the bomb site right now. He's going to watch stairs from inside the bomb, and uh, Gnome is effectively trapped right now here between between these two Zephyr teammates here, as uh, Keith has also moved all the way up from flank here, as he will get the kill there on Gnome, and uh, that's going to move it to a 2-1 to one right now. I believe this is Zephyr's map, so uh, we would expect them to perform very well as they did earlier, and uh, it's been pretty interesting to watch. Uh, Michael D and Gnome actually used to be teammates in the Call of Duty series, I believe. I, I may be mistaken, but I believe they played on Nexus together. Uh, so it's two teammates from a different game ended up playing against each other in this AVA 10k tournament here. And uh, if you guys are, again, just joining us, I continue to get X-Fires and IRC messages. If you guys are just joining us, this is the 10k AVA tournament. They're playing for five grand first place, 2,500 second place here. And uh, this is Defcon and Zephyr here. Uh, those of you who uh, play the Call of Duty series, Zephyr is the uh, the old team Pandemic, or Loaded, or uh, whatever you would like to call them. Uh, Gnome also playing for Defcon, comes from the Call of Duty series. Uh, the rest of these guys, AVA players, uh, and they perform beautifully. Uh, uh, Skadoodle, fantastic scope. Shaman Roy, uh, very, very good player. Watched him perform awesome with a TPG all day long. And uh, we are here on dual site. Two minutes left in this round. Uh, Prank Mike D holding down the two site right now. Looks like this will be a one push, though, at least early on. As Bomb is going through APC right now. Here they come. As uh, Wicked and Gnome are going to move forward. Chili going to get the kill on Kisu as they moved across Broken Bridge there. Moved in very well here. Chili going to go into the boar. He's going to drop down, go into the bomb site, get another kill here. Curious G, Chili going crazy right now. It's going to be Prank and Michael D going against Gnome, Skadoodle, Shaman, and Wiki, or Wicked right now. As uh, That was just fantastic play there by Chili. I wish we had instant replay, but if they do win this round, he's the reason they won this round. As uh, he outplayed three members of the Zephyr team there. Uh, let's take a look. Bomb is planted. I think we're on about a 40 second clock now. We've got uh, a minute 30 left in the round. Not that that matters. As uh, Skadoodle's going to get a kill there and Gnome into Prank there. So uh, tied it up 2-2 two to two here. And uh, I tell you what, since I'm solo casting, don't want to get the voice uh, too tired here. Let's do a little bit more war room. Let's see how Zephyr's handling this push here. Uh, tied up 2-2. Two to two. Let's go to Zephyr's war room now, Bob. Fire in the hole! Granada! We made a mid. From office. Yeah, one's in the mid connector here. Spotted me. I'm gonna rotate a bit. They're nading over Broadway. from office one. 
I hear a couple above ladder. They're nading me at ladder a shit ton. Yeah, they're trying to nade inside two side right now. They're, they're, I'm almost dead. They could fake it like they did before though. No. Yeah, here, he's right on me. Got him. I have no health. Left side. You gotta sign up on that. I can't. I have no health either. I don't have any health either, dude. There's at least one more going on, guys. It's a scope. He's left by the tractor. Other one's tagged. Other scope is tagged. Dude. He's in one. They're rotating back. They're rotating back. They're rotating back. On our roof. In the site too. At least one. Yeah, he's in the site. He's close to the back door. In sight still. He's like in with his teammate. Both? Okay. Planning. I don't have much health, Keith. Should let Mike go in first so you can spot him. Ready? That's the cyber. Stay back, stay back. The other guy's an automatic. I have full. Just stay back, stay alive. I hit him a bit. He's in there. Nice. Nice, nice guys. Yeah, guys. Fortunately, we have right, to get right, the... We'll come back to live action. There's Michael D and Keith there. Uh, pretty good clutch round there. It was a 2v2. They ended up getting a nice kill. Mike D dropping down onto the into the one site there from on top and uh, getting a really key kill there while he actually had no life. And uh, they needed that round as that pushes it to a 3v2 right now. Uh, one round here left before halftime. They are on the defensive side. And uh, we'll take a look here. This one looks like it's going to be a two push here, but I've been wrong about that before as they've pushed two, gone one, uh, over rotated Zephyr, all that sort of thing here. Uh, so we'll take a look here as Prank is uh, going to be dead. Michael D as well as they've taken this two site with some authority this round. DeBoer and Keith going to have to scramble Curious G on the flank here as uh, the entire uh, DEF CON team is all the way into the bomb side right now. Uh, Gnome, Emung on top of his team, five and four. The bomb is going to go down. Wicked Skadoodle going to take down Curious G on the flank. So now it's all up to Keith and DeBoer here. Uh, let's find Nabor here and follow him through this yellow smoke because he's going to be firing wildly here. Chilla takes him out. Chilly takes him out as a uh, last one standing here will be Keith and he will fall easily there to Gnome. Uh, Gnome, again, I've been told is coming in as a backup here for this DEF CON team. I heard they lost somebody. I'm not sure the circumstance under which that happened, uh, but he's doing it pretty big for him right now, 6-4, and four, and uh, has a lot of history with these uh, Zephyr guys. So uh, good to see him doing well here. Bomb. Uh, this round is going to be uh, Pandemic, or I'm sorry, <laughs> it's going to be Zephyr. I knew I was going to do that sooner or later. Uh, Zephyr is going to put the bomb down here outside of the mid-house uh, towards Broken Bridge. Prank going to be moving up towards the Broken Bridge. Uh, Nabor and Michael D on flank. They're going to see if Chili and uh, looks like that will be... Uh uh, that will be Gnome there. See if they will over-rotate from that two-site. 3-3 uh, three to three here on the first map here. 10k finals. This is the finals. We already played the bronze match. Uh, Hassan will be going home with, I believe, uh, a grand. Uh, as uh, I think um, uh, Ever Strive it will be going home with, uh, I think, 500 bucks. So uh, that match has already played out here. Bomb is still uh, left alone. And I have to say, these, this effort team is notorious for this. Uh, whether it's N Nabor or the uh, you know the rest of the team or whatever, Nabor normally been the, the strat caller. Uh, they will leave the bomb at random spots that uh, uh, allow the bomb to stay safe in, in case the bomb carrier were to die. And then they will rotate the bomb backwards uh, from the flank. So uh, they're taking their time here. Minute 50 left in this round. <clears throat> Uh, again, score three to three here. You guys are watching Erev TV, and uh, big shout out to uh, uh, Snatch. I should say that Snatch getting this all set up here with Erev TV from EG. Uh, got a got a long history with Snatch. Great guy. He gives me all kinds of uh, all kinds of information about the games they, those guys are putting out. And uh, you know, if it wasn't for him, I don't think I ever actually would have touched ABA. But I'm glad I did. Fantastically pub, uh, polished pub game, and uh, has really come to shine here in the competitive uh, competitive world, in, in my opinion, anyway. So it uh, looks like Keith is going to. 
say on the flank here on the one site, we're going to see the two site rush here coming from Zephyr Prank, uh, Nabor, Mike D, and Curious G headed towards this two site chili. And uh, looks like Gnome going to be playing inside that two site. I'm watching Michael D right now, Bobcat. If we could take a look at him as he's tossed a couple nades in, uh, he's going to be pushing in here. Gnome going to get the easy kill into Nabor there from the uh, forklift area. He's going to rotate though, and Michael D going to get the kill into Gnome there. So now it is a 1v2 here uh, in the two site, I should say. As uh, looks like Michael D is going to be uh, pushing in here with the uh, the bomb carrier, uh, which is Curious G Chili and uh, Prank going to be wall to wall to each other right now. As I could find Prank here, as uh, he and Chili are on opposite sides of the wall from each other, they have, of course have no idea here. Is uh, Prank is actually just watching the cross here, waiting for Shaman Roy. He's coming. He's got to be coming soon. And Shaman Roy with a shot on Prank. You got to be kidding me! As he goes around the corner and just blasts Prank there. Uh, Prank did have the peek on him there, but uh, is outshot there by Shaman Roy. Another round here uh, in favor of this DEFCON team. So uh, we're going to move four to three now here. Uh, again, uh, first to seven is going to win the map. We're playing the best of three maps, unless I'm mistaken, in the finals. Best of three maps. Uh, each team will pick a map. Third map will be a GM pick. And uh, we have seen that twice so far. I think we've seen an overtime map. So uh, that's always exciting to see two evenly matched teams go at it here. And uh, we'll take a look at how this one's going to play out. Going to play out pretty slow. Uh, curse you, Zephyr, because these are three-minute rounds. And uh, hopefully I don't lose my voice. But uh, still a lot of fun to watch here. Set nade coming at Wicked. As uh, he's going to avoid that one coming from the cross gate there. As uh, Keith is going to be playing on top. Jumps to APC with that pistol. Gets lit up a little bit there. As uh, he's going to take out. Uh, looks like he will be... Uh, uh, m 4 here. Bomb is down by APC. As uh, Wicked is going to get a pair of kills there. Prank and Nabor will fall to the M4 and an A there from Wicked. Going to be Keith and Michael D. Last one standing here for Zephyr here on dual site. As uh, Wicked is going to take down Keith. And uh, I've got to tell you, a lot of uh, a lot of authoritative play coming down here from this uh DEFCON team here as they are running through uh, Zephyr pretty easily here as uh, we'll do a little bit of an E-Rev scoreboard rundown for you guys before we get into this next round of play. Uh, on top of the Zephyr team, we're going to have Prank with a, a 6, a Keith with a 6, a 5 from Michael D, Nabor with a 4, and Curious G with a 2. And on the other side of the spectrum here, we're going to see Skadoodle, no surprise there, 8 and 4, uh, 3 7s coming from Wicked, uh, Gnome, and Chili here, Shaman Roy with a 4 on the bottom there. Shaman Roy going to pick up another kill there on Michael D as he's pushed mid. And it looks like uh, Curious G, Nabor, and Prank all have surrounded, so to speak, this one bomb site. but it uh, looks like Skadoodle has that on lockdown as uh, Prank going to get a nice shot there with a TPG into Wicked. And uh, we'll see if this can rotate back to the two site here. It is Prank and Curious G here uh, going up against four members of this DEFCON team. Curious G playing outside of the gate here towards Broken Bridge, APC, and he is going to get taken out by Skadoodle, and uh, it's going to be 6-3 to three now uh, in favor of uh, this DEFCON team. So Zephyr in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, this could be the uh, the tie round slash win round here, so we'll keep going for you guys. No war room just yet. We might get back into it the next map. You guys have any questions, comments, anything you guys want to get on the air, get at me on IRC. My name is Erev Eric and the QNet Game Surge uh, Networks, and uh, we'll get uh, get some stuff on air maybe later. We'll get an interview in here. Not sure. As uh, we are again using Mumble, with uh, we've had some ping related issues uh, with Bobcat, our video caster, as far as Ventrilo goes. So we're using Mumble. We'll try to get people in and out uh, and, and see how that goes. And we've also had some issues with War Room with Mumble because I uh, can't quite do that yet. But we do have Ventrilo information here for Zephyr. So we're doing some uh, War Room with those guys. They were nice enough to let us in. And uh, again, I want to assure anybody that's watching this, we are on a delay. Uh, I've had several people uh, that, that aren't used to being casted ask me how that works. We're on a very long delay. Uh, there's no chance of ghosting. Um, you know, it, we, we, we've been at this quite some time, so uh, and not our first rodeo, and, you, and we're, we're going to make sure both teams have an equal shake and everything. Here's This is a 4v4 now, as uh, Shaman Roy and Nabor are down for the respective teams. Keith going to make that an advantage to his team as he takes down Chili there. They need a couple quick rounds here, but uh, Wicked and Skadoodle are going to try to put an ink stay on that, as it's going to be Prank and Curious G again, uh, seeing these two left up together here just by the positions they're playing on the map. Curious G with the scope, Prank with the scope, a pair of TPGs here going up against, uh, looks like Skadoodle, Wicked, and Gnome here, as uh, Skadoodle is going to get an easy kill there on Curious G through the window. Uh, prank, last one left up here, Bobcat, let's take a look at him as he's using his red duck bat to beat up some boxes here, and <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good use of Euro. And uh, he'll be uh, moving towards, uh, looks like mid right now, uh, towards Broken Bridge Stairs here. And uh, looks like Wicked, Skadoodle, and uh, Gnome. Gnome is going to be pushing flank towards APC. Going to get set up pretty nicely there. Bomb is down in yellow smoke right now on Broken Bridge. Uh, Skadoodle going to be watching that, I'm sure.
uh, from those stairs over there. And uh, Gnome is going to be peeking it from APC. So uh, we'll see what happens here as Wicked uh, is going to be moving all the way over on flank right now. Uh, Prank still playing dangerously on this bridge way out in the open here. As uh, He's going to pick up the bomb. He's going to move here towards APC. Jumps down. Gnome had to have heard that as he will peek him from behind. No doubt here relatively soon. Gnome gets the kill there on Prank. And uh, again, Gnome doing it big for his team. 8-5. to five. That's GG, guys. We'll be back for the next map.